This is how you book directly into the Go High Level calendar via a retail AI voice agent. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and initiate the call. Hi, thanks for calling Solar London. My name's Rahul. How can I help you today? Um, hi, I just wanted to book an, an appointment. Great, I can help with that. May I take a few quick details to get you scheduled? Yeah, sure, what do you need? First, can I confirm your location? Are you based in London and looking for a solar installation? Uh, yeah, that's right, I'm based in London and yeah, just looking for solar installation for my home, that's right. Perfect, we can definitely help with that. Let's get you booked in. Can I confirm your email address? Is it rahul1601 at icloud.com? Yeah, that's right, yeah. Great, and can I confirm your full name? Is it Rahul Jindal? Uh, yeah, that's right. Thanks, Rahul. What's the name of your business or property? Um, the business is called Conversion OS. Got it, Conversion OS. What's your preferred date and time for the appointment? Let me just check one second. Of course, take your time. Um, can we do like today at half 12? Let me check that for you, one moment. Unfortunately, 12.30 p.m. isn't available. We do have these options, 1 p.m., 1.30 p.m., or 2 p.m. Do any of these work for you? Um, yeah, let's do 1.30, that would be good. Booking an appointment for today at 1.30 p.m., amazing. Your appointment has been booked for today at 1.30 p.m. You'll receive an email and text confirmation shortly. Anything else I can help with? No, that's perfect, thank you. You're welcome. Have a great day, and we'll see you at 1.30 p.m. Take care. Awesome, so you can see that the appointment was booked in for 1.30. Initially, we chose the 12.30 p.m. slot, which is booked up. Um, and then we chose the 131 and then the appointment booking was made. And then if we come over to the inbound AI dashboard within Go High Level, we can see that the number of inbound calls has been increased by one and the total bookings has also incremented by one as well. And that has updated the pie chart as well as the bar chart here. And the total number of minutes used over the past 30 days has also changed. So we can see that there is 1.87 minutes logged for today. So you can see this system basically does the entire booking. It also tracks all of the relevant data um, and basically everything is encompassed within high level. And if we come over to that specific contact within the CRM, we can also see the conversation recording has been logged and the new appointment has also been logged in the feed as well. Now, if you're new to the channel, my name's Rahul and I run a six-figure AI automation agency based here in London, where we specialize in building AI agents to help businesses convert more leads while saving money and countless hours of time. If you're a business owner looking to leverage these exact systems in your business to help you drive more sales while saving time and money, head over to the second link in the description below and book in a call with myself. Okay, so let me start off by walking you through exactly how this system works. So this is the exact system we mapped out in previous videos, which takes bookings through cow.com. If you take a look at some of my previous inbound voice agent videos, you will see a full breakdown of this entire system, walking you through everything step by step. But in this video, we are going to be focusing mainly on the integration with Go High Level and making the bookings directly into the Go High Level calendar. So this is the new system and this is exactly how it works. So we get an inbound phone call come in, which is passed over to our retail AI voice agent. The retail AI agent can handle general FAQs. So if the customer is asking frequently asked questions and the agent is trained on that information, it's able to respond accordingly. Now, as soon as the call comes in, we trigger an NA10 workflow, which basically pulls data from high level and sends that back over to the agent to use within the conversation. So in the demo you saw earlier, you could actually see that working where it pulled my name, it had my email address, and it just kind of confirmed that with me. Now, if the retail AI voice agent is unable to answer specific questions, it can transfer the call over to a member of the team if they are available. If the call takes place outside of business hours, it will just take a note and basically email that across to the team so the team can then call back when they are next working. And then during the call, you also saw that the voice agent asked me if I live in London and I'm looking for solar panel installation. Those are the two qualification criteria that we fed into this specific agent. So if I didn't meet those criteria, if I wasn't looking for solar panel installation or didn't live in London, then I would have been marked as unqualified and the agent wouldn't have proceeded to book me in. And if I was a customer actually inquiring about the services the business provides, but I was looking for something like boiler installation, whereas they do solar panel installation, then they would have said, you know, they do solar panel installation, but I was looking for boiler, so I would not be interested and therefore be marked as not interested on the system. But then if I did meet all of the qualification criteria, which I did in the demo, then the AI basically pushes me to make a booking. So what it does is it asks, when am I available? And then it will trigger an NA10 workflow to actually check if that slot is available, make the booking if it is. If it's not, it will come back with alternate time slots, present them to me and basically agree to arrange a specific time. And then when the booking is made, that's logged within high level as we saw earlier and we can see here. So this is the booking that we actually made earlier. And then off the back of all that, we log all of the data we've accumulated during the call within high level by triggering a workflow. And all of the relevant data is sent over to our Airtable dashboard where we are tracking the call status, total minutes, the call number, contact ID, 
day of the week, time of the day, etc. And all of that is logged within that dashboard. So it's a pretty detailed end-to-end -end system to allow businesses to be a lot more efficient with their inbound calls and log all of the relevant data within their CRM, as well as within a dashboard as well, which allows us to actually iteratively improve the system over time. Okay, so now let's dive into a detailed breakdown of the entire system. And we'll start with the main hub, which is of course, Retail AI. So let's start off with the voice agent configuration. So you can see here within retail, we've got the role and context, we've got the task, we've got the lead information, which is fed in as dynamic variables from our inbound webhook. And then we've got specifics, we've got the conversation flow, and then we've also got some last minute notes, just so the AI can keep these notes at the back of its mind. Now it's worth noting, I'm not gonna dive into the entire build here in complete detail. I'm mainly gonna be focusing on this aspect, which is making the booking into the Go High Level calendar. But if you do want a full complete breakdown, step by step of this entire system, you can check out my previous videos where I actually show you the entire inbound voice agent build and I actually give away the free templates as well. So you can literally just download and import the system and have it up and running in 10 minutes. So within retail, we've also got the post call analysis webhook, which basically accumulates all of the data from the call and sends that over to go high level. And then within go high level, we have this workflow all set up. Again, this is completely free and available in my school community. First link in the description below, feel free to join and go to the resources section where you can download this. So this basically takes the data from the call, updates the contact within the CRM, logs the call, so logs the recording within the system, notifies the team, and then also updates the actual contact, as well as updates the Airtable system and the actual sales pipeline in high level as well. And then also within the voice agent, we have these dynamic variables. So as soon as the call is initiated, we need to pass this information over to the voice agent so we can actually leverage it within the conversation. This makes it seem a lot more personalized because it already has data like the customer's name, the email, the phone number, as well as the conversation history as well if the customer has called in before. Now the way this data is fed in is within an NA10 workflow, which you can see here. So this is for our inbound voice agent. So as soon as the call is initiated, this web is triggered, which basically goes through go high level, pulls the contact from there if the contact exists. We have a filter here, so if the contact does not exist, we don't send a response back because there's no point, we have no data. And then if we do have the data, we send it back via this response, which sends the first name, last name, email, phone number, and also the conversation history. We can of course send over more detail if we wanted to, and we can also leverage that within the conversation. For example, the business name was one variable which we are not passing over, but we can if we wanted to just by adding it in here. Now the main functionality we want to discuss in this video is actually making bookings into the Go High Level calendar directly. So this is the workflow within NA10, which actually relates specifically to that. And the way that's triggered from retail is via a function. So if we come over to the actual specific stage of the conversation flow where that function is triggered, that's in stage four, which is make a booking. So what happens here is if we do not already have the email address of the customer, we must ask for the email address and confirm the email address before moving forward. If we do have the email address, we must first check that it is the correct email address before moving forward, which is what you saw at the demo at the start of this video. And then we also must ask for the full name of the customer. And then once we've confirmed this, we can move forward. We must also ask for the customer's business name. And then again, once we've confirmed this, you can move forward. We must also ask the customer what is the preferred date and time so we actually know what they prefer and then we can go forward and actually try to make the booking for that slot. If we can't make the booking, then we provide alternative slots. So we only have one function in here to actually book the appointment, which is really straightforward. Now, if the appointment was successfully booked, we will tell the user, amazing, your appointment has been booked and you'll receive an email and text confirmation. Then we'll move on to stage five, which basically just closes off the call. Just ask the customer for final questions if they have any um, and brings the call to an end. Now, if the appointment is not booked, the AI will receive alternative time slots. So it will ask the customer, do any of these times work? It will repeat back a few of the alternative date and time options and basically come to an agreement and then book in again. So we've also allocated some rules here in terms of how the agent should narrate the times and actually interact with the customer. So we have here, if the user asks if we have availability for tomorrow or Friday, you must ask what time for tomorrow or Friday, just to make sure we're getting a specific day and then also a time as well, so we can actually make the booking. And then we've also given it a bit more information on how it should read back dates and times. So it needs to read them back as, you know, Wednesday 29th of August at 10 a.m. or Wednesday 29th of August at 10.30, etc., etc. And we also want it to reply in a natural manner and just, you know, move through this process slowly and efficiently. And then of course, with this, we have the function. So if we dive into that a bit more, with the book appointment function, this tool makes the booking for the caller's desired date and time for an appointment and also passes the first name, last name, email, and business name. We have the API um, endpoint. So we have the webhook URL here. 
Um, and we also pass through this data. So we have the start date time, which is in a specific format. We, want, we need it in the right format to actually make the booking. So that is in this format here. We have the business name, we have the first name, and we also have the email. And then I also like to enable speak during execution. So the agent will actually say, give me one second, let me check, just whilst it's making the booking and, and checking for the relevant slots. And then of course, when we reach this point in the conversation, we actually head over to the NA10 workflow, which actually goes ahead and makes that booking in. Okay, so let's actually go through this workflow step by step. So what we've got here is a webhook, which is triggered, sends all of that data over from GoHigh level. And then all of that data is basically sent over to this HTTP step, which first checks if that contact already exists within the CRM. If the contact already exists, then we have this switch node, which just goes straight down and basically follows the path. If the contact does not exist, we need to come down here with this fallback step where we create the contact and then carry on down the same path as before. And what we do here is we have the date and time step. So we need to actually add 30 minutes to the start time of the appointment which basically allows us to compute the end date time. And then after this node, we have an edit fields node, which basically formats the start date time for us and the end date time. So from here, we are just concatenating this string to the end of the start date time. We've already done it for the end date time, so that doesn't really matter, but we just like to store them nicely with the same variable naming convention. And then from here, what we do is we actually go ahead and try to make the booking. So we actually try to do the booking for the appointment. So we have this HTTP request, which goes over to go high level, passes all of the necessary information over. So we have the calendar ID, location ID, contact ID, start time and end time. And then it actually goes ahead and tries to make the booking. Now from here, we have an error handler as well. But from here, we have a webhook response node, which basically tells the retail AI agent that the booking has been made successfully. And then the retail AI agent will regurgitate that back to the customer. But if the booking could not be made successfully, so this HTTP node would output an error, we then come down the error handler pathway where we configure the start date time as a Unix timestamp. We also do the same for the end date time. We also configure that as a Unix timestamp. And then we actually obtain the free slots directly from high level where we have this JSON payload, where we are sending over the start date, the end date, where we are just actually adding seven days to the Unix timestamp, just so we can get the available slots over a certain period, just in case there's no available slots on that specific day. And then we basically process those available slots via a code node here within NA10, which goes through all of those slots, finds three slots which suit the customer the best and are closest to the slot that the customer has actually chosen and then feeds that over to this webhook response node, which sends that back over to the retail voice agent. And then the retail voice agent can regurgitate that back to the customer. And then from there, it's actually an iterative process for the customer to find an appropriate slot and actually get booked in. And then obviously once the booking has been made, our dashboard is updated with the relevant stats. So we have the total number of inbound calls, the total minutes used, total number of bookings made, the pie charts updated, bar charts updated, the minutes usage chart is also updated. And then we also have the booking logged directly within the CRM within the calendar section, which you can see here. And then off the back of that, we also have email and text confirmations and reminders, which actually go out to the customer to maximize the shop rates for the appointment as well. So literally everything here end to end from the moment the lead phones in to the moment the lead actually attends the appointment is all automated with zero human interaction required. So this entire system saves the business countless hours of time, as well as gets them more bookings through as well, without actually having to do anything at all. Now, if you're looking for this exact same system for your business, or perhaps you're an agency owner and you already have clients lined up looking for a system just like this, then feel free to visit the second link in the description below and book in a call with myself. And also don't forget to subscribe, comment, hit the like button if you like these videos, and let me know if there's anything specific you guys would like to see. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.